Well, it's back on its wheels. It stops. I uh, ended up having to uh, take off the driver's side front wheel again because those wheel cylinders were leaking. Uh, that's the side that I did. I did not replace the pistons. <clears throat> and I kind of just half-assed it and it leaks. So I took it all apart again. And then uh, had to go in the back. Back uh, passenger side and take that wheel off. Take the old wheel cylinder out of it. Put the new one that we had in. Take the uh, old cylinder apart. Put the pistons in this side. Put that all back together. And uh, it works good. Car actually stops. Uh, I still need... I still probably should rebuild the master, but it stops a hell of a lot better than it ever has, so um, I think I'm going to leave it for now. One thing that I did find uh, when I test drove it was that the transmission was making a little bit of noise. I just took it down the driveway, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself uh, the fluid I need. I'm going to change the fluid in that, change the fluid in the diff, lubricate the entire chassis, you know, all the Zerk fittings. Um, we're going to change the oil and we're going to do some more, some more stuff to it. I can't remember what, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to town, get what I need to do all that, and then uh, we'll go ahead and do it. She'll be ready to go by the weekend, I hope. And I also got this, uh, this rear window back in. Um, I wasn't able to fix it. <clears throat> I just bent that bar back as far as I could and uh, put it back in. So... Uh, you can't really unroll the window because if you do, it'll actually drop out of place because it's not it's not in there right. But uh, you know it works when it's up, so we're just never gonna roll it down. Well, I better get to town and get my stuff then. All right, here we are working on the uh, Seneca. I've got the drain plug out of the diff right there. Uh, some cars don't have a drain plugs. Some have a a cover back here that you got to take off to drain it but this one here has a plug so I've undone the plug and uh, just draining out the fluid and then I'll go ahead and come over here and uh, after it's all drained out I'll put the plug back in there I'll open up the top one and fill it up to that hole and the diff will be done and I can work my way forward next up I'll see if those uh, U joints have grease fitting somewhere and I'll grease those up and then work my way to the front. Well I must say that is some nasty oil. I don't know if the camera does it justice but uh, I don't know when the last time this was changed. We bought it a few years ago and never changed it so it's probably pretty old. Good thing to get some new stuff in it. Alright I got the uh, fill plug out. I got the drain plug put back in. And now I'm going to start filling with fluid. I'm going to want to fill it uh, all the way up to the bottom of that hole. So I'm going to fill it until it starts pouring back out. I'm going to put the plug in. A uh, little trick. I probably won't need it on this one, but I put it on here to show you. Uh, you could just take a hose and stick on the end of it if they're kind of hard to get to or get the bottle up. And uh, stick uh, the end of it in the fill hole and then just uh, put that wherever you can get it so you can tip it over and fill her up. Well I've been scooting around under this car something I haven't really done before and uh, I look for a grease zerk on that U-joint uh, back there and there's not one. I'm supposed to just take it apart and manually do it. And same with this one here up front. It's actually covered by a boot. Um, I won't be doing that today. Uh, they'll probably be all right for now. They're not loose or anything. But this was kind of interesting. This uh, piece here, I never noticed before. I never really gave much thought to it. But this is the emergency brake. It's uh, basically just a band. Let's see if I can turn you around the right way here. Uh, there we go. It's basically just a band that uh, clamps around this, this big old drum. Uh, almost like a brake on a go-kart or even a transmission band it's similar um, never knew it had one I never really crawled underneath and looked come to think of it you know I didn't see anything on the on the rear brakes so this makes sense kinda neat but uh, on to other things 
I'm going to go ahead and start uh, start greasing up all the uh, grease circs I can find and then I'm going to actually drain out this transmission if there's any fluid left in it <laughs> it looks like it's been uh, been leaking a little bit I don't know if you can see that very well but so I guess we'll get started on that well I'm under the transmission here I got the uh, fill plug out and lower on the other side is the drain plug and it's coming out pretty good but it smells horrible if you've ever done this I'm sure you know what I'm talking about but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this the same way as I did the diff I'm going to drain that out from the bottom and then uh, once it's all out I'm going to go ahead and put the plug back in and fill her up from the top this would probably be a good way to use my hose uh, attached to the bottle I can run the hose in that hole and then run it up along here oh, you see that I run it up along here and then just pour it in from uh, the engine compartment and uh, then after we're done with that we'll lube up some chassis components and be pretty much good to go well I got the transmission all filled up fluids changed in there uh, did of course the rear diff and also added a little bit to the uh, steering gear I'd show you but I don't have a light and you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway so got all that done um, I also uh, greased all the ball joints and uh, tie rod ends and whatnot there under the car and that's all good to go uh, and my brother came over today and uh, we put all the all the door panels on I know it's kind of dark but they uh, they do look nice and uh, of course that windows in we're not going to roll it down any but uh, but it's good um, took it off for a drive today and took and got it washed but uh, one thing I do have to do is that brake is a little bit touchy, so I gotta uh, loosen it up a little bit, loosen up on the adjusters. I might have got it a little too tight. Uh, after we do that, it'll be good to roll. Good, good car. Should have some fun with this this summer. 